there's another one. That's another one's climbing in. Yep, another one's in there. Or another one's trying to go. Exactly. Are they both out? They're both out of it. They're climbing on it. Oh, big male. Oh my. Oh, 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 he's in. He's in. Get him. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's your friend, the Iguana Man. We are back at y'all with another video. We got our friend Edward over here. What's, What's going, going on, out, guys? Edward, what do we got planned today, man? We are out here catching agamas. And not just any agama, not the redheads, but maybe some because we actually just saw some from around here. But we're going after butterfly agamas out here. Butterfly agama. Exactly. Another species of agama. It is not, it is actually similar to the redheaded agama, mm -hmm. but they look totally different. They got these flame orange sides that the males have. Really? It almost looks like butterfly wings. We're going after these lizards that have wings, apparently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the side of them. Flame, flame orange. And we don't know too much about them. We don't know if they use that to glide, to fly, to breed. But to... we know that they're here and we know where they are. And we're going to try to get some in hand today to show you a very unique species of agama. All right. It sounds like a plan, Let's man. It. Let's, Let's get it. it. All right. So, first thing we gotta do, get a trap, boom. All right, and we're gonna be trying out this trap right here. You guys seen what happened in the last video, it was pretty successful. So we're like, okay, you know what? We spotted this area that had these weird butterfly lizards from what our friend Edward has told us. So we're like, okay, oh, oh, big, big agama, dude. Right there, right there. You see him? Look, right. You see that hole right there? Look at that hole, right? You see his head popping out right there? Big red. No, he, he's, no. above, he's above, he's above, he's above the wood. Oh, yeah. You see him? That's a, I see him. That's, that's a stud. That's a stud, that's dude. A stud. He's got, we got the trap right here, man. He's got the head bobbing. He registered Ooh. that we're here. They're, they're, they're in like, it's weird. They're in like different pockets over here in, in Florida, you know? Yeah. Sometimes they're north, sometimes they're west. Sometimes they're south, east. Alright, that's that should be good. Oh, oh yeah, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that's a lot. oh my gosh. Alright. Alright, so we're just gonna put it by his nest and then we'll we'll leave him. He'll come back. Yeah, just put it right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was the stud, bro. Look at that trap, dude. With that. Dude. I, I don't think this is gonna take oh, long. Look, look. What? Oh, oh. Curly. Oh my gosh. Bunch zoom, of curly tails. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Oh my god. Zoom in. One's already in. Th Dude, there's a curly tail in there already. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Dude, he ran right up. Oh no. Dude, we're. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I might have to keep one of them. <laughs> Hold on. If these curly tails jump in there, dude. They're gonna they're they're gonna sabotage our yeah. attempt right here, bro. I'll let a couple more get in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, he's like, you see him, right? Yeah. That other one is just gorgeous. That one, he's under the the trap. Okay. Uh this is your, there's another one in there he's trying to get in. What do you think we should do, bro? Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. oh. We we should Whoa, okay. we should back up actually. Okay. Do we have enough crickets though? Yeah, we got lots. We do? We still got All right, I don't want I don't want those curly tails to savage our attempt. Towards is it. That, that could be an agama. It looks like an agama. It looks yeah. like a female agama. That's a, that's a female agama. All right, we'll let it marinate and let it do its thing, bro. Yeah. That escalated really quickly, though. Yeah. yeah, she's trying to get in right now. We're, we're trying to get... Oh, she's in. She's in. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, get the lizards because we need them. We need our bait. This is insane. Okay, we got one. Oh. <laughs> nice little female agama. Nice. Nice. And then the curly tail. There's a curly tail in there, dude. I don't know. She's over here. Yeah. Careful, because I heard they can bite, bro. Do you guys remember when you're out there hunting and stuff like that? When you're out there hunting, you always, always got to be careful. That you know what you're doing. You don't want to get bit, scratched uh, by anything. Oh. Curly tail lizard as well. Look what the cricket's still in there. Wow. Perfect. Check, check this out. This is a female. I don't think we ever caught a female. We're gonna look at her real quick. We're gonna we're gonna let that marinate. Yeah. We'll be back. We'll we'll go ahead and bag these. Sweet. Dude, nice. <laughs> Score. Two more in the bag. 
So as you guys can see right here, this is a Haitian curly tail, I believe, Bohemian. Right? Bohemian, I'm sorry. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this, Edward? So these are another invasive species here in Florida. Um, you'll see these running around your parking lots, your schools. They can actually curl their tail up like that and they'll run just curling their tail. That's wild, dude. Yeah, when I first saw them, I didn't know what they were. I thought they were scorpions. This is the way their tail looks. Right. But then looking at them and, and, and seeing them a little bit more, I realized that they were lizards. But um, They are perfectly adapted to this weather. Um, dude, I mean, you could tell that they're just like a drier climate reptile. It got, got very, uh, like, the scales are very just rough, out. Very, very rough. rough. Yeah. So and it's crazy how similar to those. Like, that looks like a bearded dragon to me. It does. Look at the yellow on the back. Look, at it's coming out. Yeah, it's like a golden crimson right there. That's beautiful. No, no, but yeah, it, it definitely has, a you know, rough scales. So this could basically live in a, a different variety of habitats and ecosystems, huh? Yeah, I mean. Rocks, sands, walls. Desert. Trees, even maybe. deserts. Wow. And and I've seen some areas where, where these things are like uh, taking over parking lots and stuff. Yeah, they're everywhere here in Florida now. I mean, I remember when these just first started showing up about like 11 years ago, heavily, and they would just run under cracks. Uh, they started showing up around the schools. That's where I mainly see them, around uh, uh, the okay. county school boards and all that. You'll find all of those animals here. Okay, cool. Let's bag these guys up. That right there, my friends, is a curly tail. See how the tail's curled up? Where's he go? Let's see where he goes. He's right there, yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nope, no lizards in there. <laughs> oh, she's still attracted to it. She's got to find a way how to climb up it. See, this one is a little bit bigger, you know? Yeah. The, fem it's in. It's in. the female's in? Yeah, in. Female's in. Okay, the female has made her way in. Hey. Get in here. This one has beautiful colors. Yeah? Yeah. Well, close that, right? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, Look wow. at the green on the head. Here, let me get yeah, that in the yeah, sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Dude, that is insane. Let me see the back of her head. Oh, my goodness. That's insane. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, for real. All right, I got I'm some gonna, good news. Yeah. The big one, he lives in that crack right there, dude. Oh, uh, look, you see his head? Yeah, he's poking out of there. He's I'm like, going to put the trap over there. Yeah, yeah, do that. Big right there, yeah. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's, he's just poking out. He's living in the hole. Got his girlfriend, though. Gorgeous lizards, bro. We need to, we need to find kind of do some more research on these lizards. Right. And kind of figure out... Like just you know, we we know that there's different theories on how they got here, but obviously let's try to you know we should do some more research and get some more information, you know? Yeah. So a bunch of questions that we're gonna have answers to, and if you guys have any answers, drop some comments. Let us know. We're gonna bag this one. Sahara Africa. From Africa. So these are from the desert, the Sahara Desert. That's wild, dude. They're a long ways away from the desert in Africa. Female. Another yeah. female, yeah. Place is infested. Okay, guys, so essentially, this is our trap. It's a fish trap. We're gonna be using it to catch some lizards, though. And huge shout out to our chameleon guide, Matt. Really great tactic. Yes, sir. Really out there, he's catching the chameleons and stuff. And, you know, we went out there, we caught the agamas. So, the crickets can't even find their way out either. Nope. It's like a little, it's like a little fun house. Once you go in, you can't come out. Oh, you see? I think. Oh, he's with his female. Look. You see it? He's with his female. Oh, the he moved. Yeah, drop it right there. Okay, she's in there. There's another one. Another one's climbing in. Yep, another one's in there. Or another one's trying to go. Are they both out? They're both out of it. They're climbing on it. Oh, yep, one's he's in, one's in, one's in, one's in. yep. One's in. Oh, big male. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. oh, 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 oh he's in. He's in. Get him. 
Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh, get him! Get him! Get him! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please tell me you got the mail, dude. I got the mail. All right, all right. Just take your time, dude. Oh, oh my, my gosh. goodness! Oh! Whoa! Nice. Yeah. And we still got the female in here. Okay. Wow. That right there. Oh my god. Ow, goodness. that hurts. Yeah, wow, look at that. Oh. Yeah, look at the show. Almost us. indigo. Almost indigo, right? Yeah. Look at that. Woo wee! Ooh, it's feisty. It does almost have like an indigo kind of iridescentness to the look, uh, look at the ventral pores on that. Wow. Oh wow. Do they have femoral pores too, like iguanas? Um, here, I'll hand this one to you. I'll grab the other one. We can compare them. We are going to show you guys the difference between a male and female agama. All right, so check this out. Yep. Flip them upside down. So right here, there's going to be this row of pores. Yeah. And it's much more pronounced right here, this row, than right here. You can uh. see that the female does not have that wide band. So basically, I see, okay, just like you were talking about right by the cloaca, there are, it looks like femoral pores or some kind of pores. Yeah. I definitely see that right there on the male. Obviously, it's not on the legs like, like iguanas, but you can see that there's definitely a difference uh, right, you know, by, by the by You the notice vent. that this kind of club tail that they got going on? Yeah. Look, there's one literally just eye on this. We should step away so that she can go in the trap. Okay. There you guys have it. Male, female. Obviously, male's bigger, got red head. Female, smaller, no more drab pores. coloration, but still. I mean, the females seem to have. Look, it's gone. It's in. I was trying to go in. Yeah. It's on the trap. Oh my god, this is so much fun. We haven't even got to the butterfly stuff. No, nah, we're just we're just trying to get warmed up, honestly, yeah. right? Absolutely. <laughs> we're just getting started out here. Look at that. Woo. Good this job, is what, dude. Number four. Yeah, yeah, four. Yeah, yeah four. We got that one on the trap. She's marinating right now. Oh, oh yeah, she man. wants to go in. Man. Come on, just a little bit over. For problem solving, they, they they do get it, you know? They figure it out. Yeah? And it's like they're so desperate for it that it's like They're gonna figure it out no matter what. Like that one's willing to do it right with us standing right next to it, you know? Yeah, look, oh she's on she's about to be in. She's in? Oh, oh she no, came she would... out. Wait, turn around, sweetheart. Turn around, turn around. Turn around. We got it. She's right outside of the... Uh, of the. Oh, she's out now. Damn. It should be in there, you know? Yeah. Should get in there. You guys can see it right there. Big male right there. Underneath him, it looks like he's got a little... I don't know if that's a dewlap or what, but... He's got a little bit of flap of skin under there. A handsome man yeah very handsome for sure for sure there goes this female right there all right y'all hey we're gonna bag these boys up yeah. stay tuned uh we're gonna see if she goes in there and then also we have another trap yeah to check we do before we go or to the, the bigger, other trap. bigger male than that bigger 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 stud and that one's watching the trap Ooh, feisty feisty, oh, feisty. it's in the trap oh it's in okay it went in just like that just like that Like I said, I want to give a huge shout out to our friends Matt and Travis from uh, from the west coast of Florida for showing us this technique. And now we're going to be able to use this, obviously, out here if we need to do uh, some catching as well. So huge shout out to those boys. They put us on, and it's just it's couple just, in the bag. Yeah, exactly. It's just all for the uh, the brotherhood, y'all, of herping, catching lizards, having fun learning applying knowledge this is what makes it truly exciting you're always learning something new about animals about different ways of capturing them and just to appreciate even these non-native herps you know they're not to be vilified you know these things they're not their fault that they're here so incredible animals incredible opportunity that we get to be here to experience these absolutely it's a shame that they don't belong here but we can't release them back into the environment. Yeah, we can't. We can't. So. Once we catch them, they're our responsibility, y'all. 
So drop some comments and let us know what should we do with them. But we do have about five of them in the bag. And, and let's uh, get on some butterflies. We got to get on the butterfly. Okay, so guys, the butterfly agama. Are not these. Are not these. It is the butterfly. I don't know if it's an evolution or the an alternative to these lizards, all right? Y'all stay tuned because we're going to go look to see if we can see the butterfly agamas. Hopefully catch one and then show you guys the, the physiology of these creatures up close in person. Ain't that right? Absolutely. Let's get it. All right, so this is our final, our final trap to check. Or he might have outsmarted us. He isn't in the hole, which is good news. Yeah, he's in there. He's in there? Yeah. Oh. Nice. There's a, there's a curly tail. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the one we were, we were after. Perfect. Perfect. And we got a bycatch in there. And you guys are seeing it right here. These lizards, see, they are, well, this one in particular was living in this right here, in the side of this building, so. Another one. Oh, that's a stud, dude. That thing's huge. Look at the club tail that they have. That's really interesting to me. Wow. Yeah, you don't want to get tail whipped by that if you were like a like, a, like another <laughs> lizard or a, or a prey or something like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. Knock you out, man. Gorgeous specimen. Real dude. quick, this is going to give you a a clear, uh, distinctive picture of what I was talking about. So instead of having the femoral pores but under the legs or on the legs, they have it right above the cloaca, as you can see it right there. And that's a clear indication of a male. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got the big head. He's a bigger in size and stature, but also right there, dead giveaway. Females do not have, we have that, so. places that we are scheduled to be at, that we have authority to be at to lay these traps. You can't trap in areas that you don't have permission to. That's trespassing right there. You can get yourself in a lot of trouble. But um, yeah, as you guys seen, uh, within 30 minutes, the job is done. We got about seven of them, about seven to, to 10 of them lizards in total. Um, so I think that was pretty effective. Um, like I said, we are going for a rare butterfly lizard. I've never seen one. I've never, I barely heard of these things. And today we're gonna be potentially catching one with our friend Edward. The cousins to the red-headed gamas. The cousins, all right? So if y'all wanna see that, make sure y'all smash the red subscribe button, give the video a like. Let me know your favorite part in the comments, and we will see you guys on the next video. All right, peace out.